Hi everyone. This is Bob Reich. I'm Vice President of Sales and Training at Hobbs Herder, and I'm excited today to introduce our speaker to you. Our speaker's name is Greg Herder. Greg Herder is nationally known. Greg Herder is a licensed broker, has been an agent in real estate for over 30 years. Greg is an MBA in marketing, teaches in the California University System, and is going to stimulate you today. He's going to challenge you. So without further ado, I want to introduce our speaker today, Greg Herder. Hi, it's a pleasure to have you here on these monthly coaching calls. And I just want to remind you, the goal of these calls is to keep you moving forward so that you are really using what you learned at the Marketing Mastery three-day training program to take you to the next level as you're in your real estate marketing career. Also, I want to make sure that you don't feel isolated as an agent. I know there's a lot of other agents doing a lot of other things and sometimes people leave the seminar and they they go back to their offices and they feel like they're all alone doing something and that can be discouraging. I also want to make sure that you are holding yourself accountable so that you are moving forward to really achieve the goals that you've set for yourself in the year ahead. Finally. I want to make sure that you're getting new ideas on a regular basis so that you are truly making progress. This month, I want to start with my book of the month. And uh, this is an outstanding book by Tony Robbins called Money. Now, most of you are familiar with Tony. Many of you have been to many of his training programs. And I've been a big fan of Tony's for a long time. As many of you know, Tony worked for uh, Jim Rohn. I also worked for Jim Rohn just a little later than Tony did. And Tony has gone on to do absolutely fabulous, amazing things. This is one of the books that I think is one of Tony's best in that it talks about how to really become financially independent. And it's something that is so important. I talk to so many real estate agents that have done very well, made a lot of money, but have not become financially secure, independent. And uh, this is a great little book that really teaches you, here's the things you need to do to make sure that you are taking your money and using them effectively. There's a couple of important skills, and I've been talking about how to make money as a marketer in real estate agents, as a, as a real estate agent. Tony's book talks about how to make sure you keep your money so that you can live the life that you really want to. So today, I want to talk about just making sure that you're in the position to capitalize on the extraordinary year ahead. I think the next 12 months is going to be absolutely fabulous in real estate. The marketplace is doing very well. If you take a look at uh, the economic cycles, if you take a look at the classic up and diet cycle, we're right in that, you know, green zone, where you're just incredible opportunities. And I want you to know the next couple of years are going to be extraordinary, and I just want to make sure you're in a position to capitalize on those opportunities. So how do we make sure that we capitalize on the next year, two years, three years? The first thing I want you to do is make sure you have your focus, strategic brand advantage in place. And it's got to be running throughout everything you do. Now... <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, this is based on picking your target marketplace and now saying, here's the value I can bring to that particular group. Failing to really have a focused strategic brand advantage that is permeating every single piece of their marketing is in my opinion, the number one reason why most agents fail to build a strong brand even over, over a lifetime of selling real estate. If you do this correctly, after two or three years, your strategic brand advantage, your brand identity in the marketplace will start generating a steady, consistent flow of business coming towards you for the rest of your real estate career. And I think this is where agents lose track of this. They get so focused on, gosh, I just need to go get another deal, that they don't, the, don't do the things necessary to set up a long-term business plan. And if you don't do this, let me tell you, now you're going on that 
trap of always doing the same thing. And your business goes up when you're out there prospecting and, you know, cold calling and door knocking. But as soon as you stop any of those activities, your business goes down. If you want to get off that roller coaster, you've got to build your brand. Two of the books I've recommended numerous times over the years. One is Brand Warst. Tricks. Companies use to manipulate our minds and persuade us to buy. Now, it's an interesting book in that it talks about why brands are so incredibly powerful. And I want you to use all those powerful tools for yourself. Then, emotional branding. And emotional branding just reminds us that you've got to have a compelling emotional story. It's not about the facts and figures. It's not about being a realtor that's going to work harder, provide better service. It's what is your emotional connection. So the first thing we need to do is just take a look at all your existing marketing materials. Ask, is my brand identity clearly and consistently communicated across everything that you're doing? This starts with your business cards, your ads, flyers, website, landing pages, down to your personal Facebook profile. Is everything truly reinforcing your identity? This is Robin Milanakis' personal brochure. She's got a look, a style in it. Now, we see that same look, style, repeated in her house flyers. These are the property profile sheets she leaves in every one of her listings. Then it drives you to her website. And her website's got the same look, feel, style, the same strategic brand message going throughout it. Then you get a piece of direct mail from Robin. Maybe it's a little postcard like this. She uses these for just listed, just sold for so many different things. Now we go to her Facebook page. And sure enough, her branding is there. And no matter where we see Robin, we start to feel like, oh, we know her. We get a copy of her home buyer questionnaire. We see a just listed in the mail. We get one of her, we see some of her special report advertising. And she's promoting some of the special reports she's doing. And she's doing this online, offline, doing advertising in a variety of different places. Then we get one of her special reports. We also see, even in her Facebook advertising, her identity. And it drives us to a landing page where she's promoting an open house. But sure enough, it's promoting the open house, but it's also building Robin's brand. And I want you to realize how incredibly powerful this is. She gets us to interact, offers special reports. Then she follows up. We get a follow-up letter. It's got her look, feel, style. And she is incredibly consistent in everything she's doing. This is the huge payoff of doing great marketing. Now, when a prospect meets you in person, you are truly known in their brain. They feel like they already know you. I want you to know that this is so critically important. Everything you do has to reinforce your core brand message. Without this, you're always going to be working so much harder, so much longer. Now, once you, you have your strategic brand message across everything you're doing, you've got a look, a feel, a style that's reinforcing your brand. Next, what you want to do today is make sure that you're focusing your efforts on building market share. As a marketplace is going up, it's always the best time to focus on growing your business. As a marketplace is growing, the number of transactions is going up. Small increases in market share today will turn into large profits in the future as your market share grows. Because <clears throat> if you have 10% of a market that's 100 transaction, and now the marketplace goes to 200, and you still have 10% market share, 10% of 100 is 10 transactions, 10% of 200 is... 20 transactions. Now, your marketplace isn't probably going to double, but if it goes up 10, 15, 20%, let me tell you, 
Now, just by default, you're going to get an extra 15, 20, 20% 20 growth because of the market share. Now you add onto that your brand advantage and your strategic brand message helping you build an identity over time. And let me tell you, you can have phenomenal growth over the next couple of years. Remember, this is how it works. As a market grows, the agents with the largest market share tend to grow the fastest. Remember the old saying, a rising tide lifts all board, boats. And the more you have market share, the more work is done by the tide. Now, the question is, how do you really expand your market share? Well, you build market share by expanding the frequency and variety of your marketing activities. Now, this is assuming you have a strategic brand message in place, that you have a target marketplace you're going after, and now you're trying to get your marketing message in front of them more frequently and in more different places. So many people ask, how do I really know if I'm going the right way? Well, ask yourself this question. How many people are being exposed to your strategic brand message every month? And how often are they seeing that message? And in what media? Remember, at the seminar, we talked about, ideally, you only have market penetration getting into people's minds when you have between three and five exposures a month. So you've got to ask yourself, am I getting that three to five exposures a month that I really need to build identity, to build my brand? Now, agents always say, Greg, how do I really determine the size of my farm? Now, we talked about how to determine the size of your direct meal farm at the Marketing Mastery Seminar. And the same rules really apply to a media farm, to marketing, whether it's online. How you determine the size of your farm is to think first about your goal. Let's say your goal is to do 50 transactions a year. Well, you need an area where there's at least twice as many homes selling in that area. So you need an area where there's at least uh, 100 transactions or more. The more, the merrier. And then you need to think about the turnover rate. And basically, if you take an area and you say, well, gosh, in this area, there's 100 transactions. Well, now, what's the turnover rate? And this will give you the size of the target marketplace. Now, this can be a media farm. It can be a social media farm. It can be a direct mail farm. There are so many options on this. So let's say you do have 100 homes in an area that are selling, and you want to find out how big that area actually is. You just divide that by the turnover rate, and you'll get a farm of 2,000 people. In a media farm, if you take a look at it, if you say, well, gosh, this media is reaching 4,000 people, and then you say, well, gosh, I'm, I'm also doing a direct meal program to 2,000 of them, and then I'm doing a different type of marketing, and out of that, there's 3,000 people that are seeing you in three different ways. That's sort of the size of your farm. You don't want to add everything up collectively. Now, this will give you a great sort of fundamental understanding of what I can expect out of this particular group. So, you know, if you take a look and you say, gosh, I'm reaching 3,000 people in a media online farm. I'm constantly targeting them. Now, I know that in any particular area, if I just use the national average, I'm going to have a 5% turnover rate. And now, in an area of 3,000 people, approximately 150 transactions are going to happen a year. Now, if you take 150 transactions divided by 12, Sort of, now you can seasonally adjust this if you have a real, real seasonally marketplace. You can say, gosh, this is sort of how many transactions in this area are happening each month. So there's 10 or 12, you know, seasonally and maybe 25 in, in some of the hotter months, some of the better months, and then, you know, maybe down to 8 or 9 or 8 or 7 in some of the slower months. 
And you need to sort of look at it and say, okay, then for that, I should be generating X number of leads. And those leads, as I follow up on them, are going to turn into those transactions. And now you can see if you're getting the penetration, the impact that you need to have. Now, if you want to understand how to really grow your marketplace, let me give you the growth formula that we have developed and we use here at Hobbsford Advertising. We take a look at the number of people reached, the frequency that we're reaching them, and the media types. And what this does is this leads to the lead generation. So now you can take a look at it and say, okay, how many people, the frequency, and the media? Now, this is assuming you have a good, solid marketing message to communicate because the message is fundamental to this. Now, this will determine the leads you generate and now get it to the transaction level that you need to have to really build your business effectively. I mean, think about it this way. Let's say you're getting your marketing message out to a thousand people and you're exposing that message twice a month and you're doing it in three different mediums. Maybe you're using a combination of online advertising, direct mail, traditional advertising, or email. Now, to those 1,000 people, you're having six exposures a month. And if you get between three and six exposures a month, you're going to now start having great impact. And now you'll start generating a steady flow of business coming your way. This is so important. The real question I always ask agents is, if we take a look at your numbers, do your numbers support your goals and objectives? If I take a look at, gosh, are you getting your marketing message out to enough people each and every month? Would I say, gosh, you've got an excellent chance of actually doing incredibly well? Unfortunately, so many agents aren't getting their marketing message out. They're talking to 10, 15, 20 people a month, and then they wonder why they aren't doing three or four or five transactions. The numbers just don't justify it. You've got to make sure that the numbers are working in your favor. So you need to know your numbers, your ratio, how many people are getting out there. Now, once you are making sure that you're getting your marketing message out there to a large number of people, Take a look at your entire marketing plan and ask yourself, how's my plan for direct mail? How's my plan for traditional print advertising? Now, everybody says, you know, print is dead, but remember, it's not dead, it's dying. And there's still huge opportunities and they're more flexible today than ever before, so don't write it off. Take advantage of what opportunities are there. Then, what's your plan for social media marketing? Are you engaging effectively and using Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn to generate a steady, consistent flow? Or are you just haphazardly going through and saying, well, I'm, I'm spending some time there, but I don't have a marketing plan to really make it happen into business? Then, what's your online advertising strategy? And especially, what's your landing page conversion plan? What kind of a conversion process do you have? How are you using the YouTube videos we talked about at the Marketing Mastery event? Have you taken the time to create the servicing videos, the area videos, the promotional videos, the things that really make a huge difference that now you can put into your landing pages to increase your conversions? Then, are you doing email marketing? Are you following up? And then, how's your past client follow-up system? Are you using those things? Now, the first thing you want to make sure you have in place, no matter where you are, whether you're starting out, been around for a long time, make sure that your PSA plan is in place and are running smoothly. Now, remember, at the seminar I talked about your PSA plan as your plan for your past clients, your sphere of influence, and any leads that you generate from any method, whether it's a referral, whether it comes from an online ad, what is your exact plan? What are you going to follow up with it? Most agents get into their biggest trouble when they don't have, here's my exact plan for follow-up. 
They say, well, gosh, it just depends. No, it does not just depend. You need to have the exact same follow-up system, whether it's a referral or a cold lead. Because here's the funny thing. We think we can relax with a referral, and we may be able to close more of them, but guess what? If you relax, you won't create the same impression. You won't get the same impact. So you want to have a consistent follow-up plan that says, gosh, this is what I, every buyer lead I get. Here's the things I'm going to send them. Day one, day two, week one. And now you have the entire plan followed up, laid out, so that now you can just execute it without any effort at all. The same with every seller lead. You want to make sure that you have a plan, here's what I do. So make sure your plan is in place. Now, remember for both your past clients and your sphere of influence, you need to have six direct mail contacts every year. You also need to have six email contacts a year, plus an ongoing series of Facebook ads using their custom list tool. Now, remember, this is so incredibly powerful. You want to take all your past clients, all your sphere of influence, their email addresses. All you need is their email addresses and upload them to Facebook. And remember, Facebook, as we talked about at the seminar, lets you upload them and create a custom list. So now you upload your past clients, yours for influence, and now you can run an ad that only targets those people. You don't have to be friends with them on Facebook. This is one of the greatest marketing opportunities ever. You can stay in front of your past clients, your sphere of influence, and make them feel like, gosh, there's my realtor. So that they're seeing your ads. Now, this is a great place to advertise and utilize your YouTube videos. Drive them to little videos about you, the area, your services. And now your past clients, your sphere of influence, feel like you're incredibly active. They see you on Facebook. Maybe they watch a YouTube. Now they get that direct mail. You know, and we talked about that twice a year. That letter where you're giving people insights into the real estate marketplace. Go to the download site and follow the plan that we laid out for you. This makes such a huge difference. This is so important to have this set up and running. Now, even if you're brand new in real estate, here's the funny thing. So many new agents say, well, Greg, I'm going to wait to get my past client up and running, my past client plan up and running until I have some past clients. But now, they have a past client, they get another transaction going, and suddenly a year, two years, three years go by, and they don't ever follow up with their past clients, and they let all of the referral, all of the incredible opportunity they could have generated slip away. So you need to have this up in place so that now your very first closing, you have a plan in place to say, gosh, here's my past client follow-up. Now, the other thing you need to have in place is your follow-up plan for any and all leads generated. Again, I cannot stress this enough for every lead you generate. Now, you may have some variation depending upon how you generate the lead, but you need to have a plan for each one of those variations if you're going to vary it. If not, have a plan that says for every buyer, every seller, here's exactly what you get. And remember, that first mailing you make to every client. Now, again, this may be going to a past client, maybe going to a referral, it may be to a, go to a cold lead, it may be going to an online ad that you followed up that may be converted from one of your landing pages. You need to make sure that you look great, that people are instantly impressed with you, you separated yourself out from all the other realtors. Now, in this, you're going to include a cover letter appropriate to that particular client. That's really the only thing that's going to change. Then, the appropriate special report, either one they've asked for or one that's appropriate. So, if you get a buyer lead from Floor Time, now, you send them a cover letter, but you also include your buyer special report. Then, you include your personal brochure. Also, for buyers, you're going to include your buyer's questionnaire. Now, the feedback I get from agents who send out a package like this is truly amazing. 
it's so powerful getting prospects to see you as a truly professional agent and differentiate you from all the other realtors. Because remember, they aren't just talking to one realtor. They're talking to a few people and suddenly you send a package like this. This is Priscilla Rodriguez's package that she sends out to all of her buyer leads. Got the nice cover letter. Again, the cover letter, all the details are the download site, the buyer's questionnaire, the special report. They're all at the download site. Now she has her personal brochure to make that emotional connection as well. And this makes such a huge impact. Now, use the follow-up system that we outlined at the Marketing Mastery training program. Download the plan, the letters, the messages, and now just execute them. Put them in place, get them all printed up, so that now it's just easy to execute. Now, I also want you to use targeted online advertising to drive prospects to your compelling landing pages. In my opinion, this is one of the big opportunities to build market share in the year ahead. Targeted online advertising is truly changing the game. Now, use all the special report ads that you got at the Marketing Mastery Seminar as well as your YouTube videos to really add creating compelling content to your landing pages so that you can convert more of the people that go to your landing pages into actual leads. Again, there's so many opportunities. Here, Christine Crockett is offering the 29 Essential Tips Special Report. Now, once people click on the ad, she drives them to a landing page for that particular ad. And she makes a non-threatening, easy to connect to offer to get this special report. Again, don't go too crazy. Don't ask for everything you want to. Don't come across too salesy. And now, make sure you vary these. You can't use just one ad. The great thing about Facebook is you can create multiple versions, drive people to different landing pages. So here, Christine Crockett is just going with a little bit different version. Now, use all the special reports. Remember, you've got four of them at the Marketing Mastery event. Use the direct response ads to actually create the landing page. And then write a variety of little creative ads. A lot of the little ads we gave you work very well on Facebook. So now, drive them to a landing page. Also, remember you want to target your seller so that now the sellers are always seeing their house advertised on Facebook. And when a seller sees their house advertised on Facebook over and over and over again, they feel like you're doing such a great job. Again, this is such a great way to build market share. Now you've put in that past client follow-up program, and let me tell you, the number of referrals you generate is incredible. Because the second it's over, it's a past client, they can continue to see you on Facebook, they're getting your other touches, and you will get so many more referrals. This is how agents like Phil Herman keep growing their business to ever and ever higher levels. This can make such a huge difference for you. You can target buyers, sellers. There are so many options. And remember, we aren't talking about big dollars. So take a look here. Priscilla is targeting, you know, 8,600 8, people in this farm area. Now, she gets this ad exposed 78,000 times for $223. She has 183 clicks to her landing page. Now, this is an incredible value. I want you to realize you want to make sure that you do this. You want to take advantage of this in the year ahead. Now, this is where you can create great little YouTube videos that you are going to embed into your landing pages. Remember, landing page is just a website, a web page, that is limited in its navigation and leads people to give you their contact information. What are the critical questions you should be asking a realtor before you list your home? And now, Priscilla has a little video. She covers the same basic information that she's covering in the text, but she's now doing it in person. And the goal is to get them to give you your name and information, their name and information, so they get one of your special reports. This is so powerful. This works so incredibly well, especially if you add a little great video into it. You can get people on yours 
offers to get a copy of your personal brochure. What's the buzz about B. Powell? If you're thinking about buying or selling a home into land, find out if Realtor B. Powell is the right real estate professional for you. And now she takes you to a landing page, and her goal is to get you to get a copy of her personal brochure. Offers for a special report, a personal brochure, a buyer's questionnaire. Those types of things work very well. You can also run great little ads on Facebook, Google, a variety of different places to get people to watch your videos. So here, Marguerite Gagier ran a little ad and she got 1,958 exposures, got 172 people to actually click on the ad, 157 of them watched their video. And this cost her $10.48. Let me tell you, you've got to be taking advantage of these types of things. Now, I also want you to tap the power of Facebook to engage your clients. We talked a lot about this at the Marketing Mastery. Gave you a number of examples, talked about the things. Remember what I told you. The number one thing to talk about on Facebook is your clients. Now, this seems to be like pulling teeth with agents. They want to talk about the facts and figures. They want to put listings. No, talk about your clients. This is so critically important. Take and post lots of selfies with your clients. This is the power of social media, but it's got to be social. It's got to be interactive. Peggy is so great at this. Here's one of her clients at the closing table. And notice they're excited. And now Peggy posts a little post, but notice that 40 people like it. There's lots of different comments, and people share it. Actually, if you take a look, the client shared this, and now, gosh, they're talking about it. Now, this is because it's shared from Peggy's wall to the client's wall. It goes to all of the client's friends, and all the clients see that Peggy is their realtor. Doing this on a regular basis is so incredibly powerful. And you will find that you will get so many more referrals, comments, likes from this. I mean, simple little things. Just talk about the process from going and previewing property. All those things out there. This will make a huge difference for you. Post all the exciting events along the way. Loan approval. Getting keys. Filling out the final paperwork on uh, an offer, a counter offer. I, uh, so many opportunities, and yet, here's the funny thing. You guys are doing this every day. You're actually working with clients. You're doing transactions, and then you aren't talking about it on Facebook. Yes, you need to ask their permission. But today, the vast majority of people are going to say yes. It's a positive thing. This will generate a steady, consistent flow of business for you in the year ahead. I want you to take advantage of online advertising and social media. If you use these to reinforce your strategic brand message, you're getting your message out there, let me tell you, it will pay huge dividends for you. So focus on how to get more people to see your marketing messages in more ways than ever before in the year ahead. I really want you to get that three to five, three to six exposures every single month to all of your prospective clients. That will help you generate so much more market share over the year ahead. Now, once you get your marketing truly dialed in, now you want to make sure that you work on your service systems so that now as you generate an increase in business, your service systems grow with you. Ask yourself this question. Could your systems handle it if you double the number of transactions you did each month in the next 12 months, would your client service suffer and would you still have a life? And I see so many agents, they get excited about some of the marketing opportunities. And they go out there and they start marketing. They start getting their marketing message out there on a consistent basis and suddenly it works. And now they start getting a regular steady flow of phone calls. But because their service systems are not in place, everything sort of falls apart. Everything starts disintegrating around them. What worked when you're only closing two transactions a month does not work when you're closing five or six. 
Won't work when you're closing five or six. Doesn't work if you're closing 10 or 12. And so what you want to do is make sure that you're always thinking ahead. Put the systems in place that will handle huge amounts of volume. It's sort of like saying, gosh, I can create a freeway or I can just get by on this little two-way and lane road. Well, <clears throat> if you build the freeway, you're going to have lots of capacity and you can grow much faster. If you settle for the two-lane road, let me tell you, you are going to have more accidents, more disasters. So make sure you build the freeway of your service. Now, what are the systems you need to really work on? Well, really work on your service systems in total, including your computer systems, your marketing system, your personal time off. Also, in that, put in your wealth building plan so that you're building wealth as you're generating business. And now, five, ten years from now, you can truly be financially where you want to go. Use the Hobbs order system for creating rating fans. Let me tell you, this makes such a huge impact. Go back and use the things out there. Remember, I gave you a sort of org chart. I want you to look at your organization, how you're structured, and say, gosh, am I doing it all myself? Or am I putting the place, things in place that really are going to support me? Remember, you are the president of your own real estate business. And everything is running exactly the way you designed it to run. But you, as president, need to make sure that you're taking responsibility for everything out there. So that now, every single step along the way, you are putting the things in place that make the biggest difference for you. This makes such a huge difference overall. Then, if you haven't downloaded and started using the listing follow-up system. Make sure you do this. This is so incredibly powerful. Now, make sure you follow it through, the action plans. Now, some people say, Greg, I hate that this is on a paper. I really want to be automated. I want to do this electronically. Well, you can do it on paper, which I actually recommend is the simplest and easiest way to get started. If you want to use it uncomputerized, Remember that we do have a great relationship with Exact Contact, and they've taken the complete client listing service system, that entire form, and put it into the Hobbsort version of Exact Contact. So now you take a listing, you assign somebody that listing, and it'll tell you week one, do this, mail out this letter, email this letter, and now you just hit the button and it does everything for you. It's absolutely incredible. Agents often ask, Greg, why do you ex recommend exact contact to real estate clients? Well, first of all, I really believe that exact contact is the easiest to use and the most economical full-featured CRM for realtors. First of all, their customer service is truly outstanding. They will help you upload your data into Exact Contact at no charge. So no matter where your database is, whether it's in Outlook, Top Producer, any other program, when you sign up for Exact Contact, they will help you download it from any other place, upload it into Exact, do all the field matching at absolutely no charge. They make it incredibly easy, even if you are not technically super sophisticated. It also works perfectly on any type of computer. It'll work on an Apple computer, a Windows computer. It'll work on an iPad, a tablet, your cell phone. And it's absolutely amazing. It also syncs natively to either an iPhone or an Android. And so now you can input a client right into your cell phone, and it'll be in your contact management system. Also, Exact's email marketing capabilities are second to none. The best thing about it is that it lets you see who is opening your emails. So many agents get faked out because they're sending out all kinds of email. They say, well, you know, I, I'm sending out 5,000 emails a month. But now we look at it, you know, the average opening rate of email is only about 6 to 8%. And so you think... A thousand people are getting your email, but really it's just six to eight percent of those. But now you can check. You can also see for existing clients who opens your email, and you can flag it so that now 
gosh, here are the people. I've sent them 10 emails over the last few months, and they haven't opened a single one. This might be somebody you say, I'm going to stop emailing them and put them onto a mailing program because they are not getting the email. And this is so important. You need to be able to track that. Exact does that. It's all part of their process. Also, they really have designed everything to be marketing oriented. Now, in so, well, Greg, what does that really cost? Well, <clears throat> remember that for all of our clients, you can have a 60 day free trial. Just go sign up. Now, there's no long term commitment. You can cancel at any time. To get your free trial of the Hobsurder version of Exact, remember Exact. <clears throat> has a version, if you go to exactcontact.com, they'll give you a 45-day free trial. But if you want the 60-day free trial and you want all the Hobbs Herder letter systems built into it, go to exactcontact.com forward slash HH. And let me tell you, it's incredibly powerful that way. Now, once you have your computer systems up and running, you want to make sure that you have your game plan for the year ahead. This is where you want to lay out on either an Excel spreadsheet, you know, a plan for the year ahead. What I want you to do is use the sample of sort of download site and it lays out all your activities. See, now you have a full year. Here's what's going to happen in January, February, March. Now you're operating from the year and now you just follow the plan each month. Now, when you're laying out your game plan, make sure you also Lay out the plan for your personal life, your vacations, your birthdays, the important times. This is learning to master the art of lifestyle. And if you don't do that, you'll find that your life will go by so incredibly fast that you won't have taken the time for this. Every time I get lax on this, it comes back to bite me. I've been pretty good, but it makes such a huge difference. I will tell you, my wife and I are getting ready to celebrate our 30th wedding anniversary. Now, guess what? I've missed a few. But you got to make sure that you're there for the vast majority of everything. So you make it a special. You say, gosh, this is where I show you that you truly are important to me. This makes such a big difference. So put that plan in so that now it just doesn't accidentally happen. So many agents say, well, Greg, as soon as, as soon as I get some, some time, I'm going to take a vacation. You'll never have one. You've got to lay that out, plan it out. And it will make such a huge difference. Now, the last thing I really want you to do is work on your wealth plan as you get your marketing up and running. Now, sometimes people say, well, Greg, I'm starting out. You know, I'm, I'm investing in my business. I know, but as your business starts to grow, make sure you're living the 70-10-10-10 way. Now, this is the philosophy that Jim Rohn taught me, and I'm sure it had a huge impact on Tony, and you'll see part of this reflected in his wonderful book, Money. But I want you to remember that what you want to do is live on 70% of what you make. Now, this is after taxes, after splits, everything else. You know, after all your expenses, everything else, what money you actually have coming to you, you want to say, gosh, I'm going to live on 70% of that. Now, 10% of that is going to go into an emergency savings fund for unexpected events. Now, kids, tires, cars, things that happen unexpectedly so that you are able to deal with those. 10% is going to go into your long-term wealth plan. Now, here's the key. That long-term wealth plan has got to be untouchable. Doesn't matter what's going on, that you don't touch until you retire. That is your retirement. And this makes such a huge difference. This is why I highly recommend Tony's book. He talks about what to do with that 10% so that it grows. Now, here's the great thing about this. It's not the amount of money that you earn. It's the plan for your money. I've seen so many people earn a lot of money but still not become financially independent because they didn't have a good plan. 
What I found is that the more money you make, the more ways you find to spend it. You elevate your lifestyle, you get nicer cars, a bigger house, and unfortunately, what you end up doing is sacrificing your long-term security. Today, we are living longer, living more enjoyable lives. So you want to make sure that you have an absolutely phenomenal retirement. Make sure you're setting aside 10% a month for that. Then make sure you give back 10%. Now, so many people say, well, Greg, as soon as I make you know $100,000, I'll be willing to give a little bit back. But, you know, right now I'm really tight. Here's what I found. This is a habit that you've got to get into early. If you only have a dollar today, give 10 cents of it to somebody. The homeless guy on the street. See, I found it's easier actually to give 10 cents out of a dollar than it is to give 10,000 out of 100,000. Or 100,000 of a million and I want you to get in the habit because it's what we do for others. It's what we give back that really creates so much value on the planet for us. I really want you to work on your wealth plan. It's truly not how much you make that determines whether you become wealthy. It's the plan that you have for your money that makes a difference. So make sure you have a good plan, that you're thinking about it, and really working to make that incredibly powerful. I also want to thank you for being here every month with me. And I want you to go as soon as this call is over and sign up for next month's call. That way you'll get the automatic email notification or if you put your phone number in there, you get a text notification for it. And I just want you to remember, you've got to make the commitment to be here every single month. Then go to the download site and download the things that you need to put into place. It's so important to do that. There's so much great value there. Also, go back and look at some of the old coaching calls. The different things, remember that those are all on the download site. Um, I believe that they're also on my podcast, so now you can go and listen to them. Maybe you want to figure out, gosh, how to really use those special reports more effectively. How to use my personal brochure more effectively. You want to hear the interview with Peggy Lucas. Go and look at those past coaching calls online and now start moving forward. There are so many great tools. You need to make sure that you're using them on a consistent, regular basis. Now, sometimes agents say, well, Greg, I'm, I'm getting so busy. I, I just... I." I don't have time to do everything. Just make sure that you're doing the things that you need to have in place. And then as you get busier and busier, think about what are the things I need to do to get more time. Maybe you uh, think about Hobbs Herder's Set It and Forget It program where you turn the marketing over to us. Let uh, Patrick here on our staff execute your direct mail program, execute your uh, holiday cards, those types of things, and just help you manage it. Then... I want to thank you for uh, your support over the years. And if there's anything we can do for you, whatever it may be, we'd love to work with you at creating your marketing. If you haven't been to a seminar for a while, come back. It'll make a huge difference for you. Check out our website. Go to uh, hobsherder.com. Check out the upcoming Marketing Mastery at Training programs. We also have a wide variety of webinars Right now, we've uh, started that uh, 12-month webinar program for this year where I'm doing a new webinar every single month to keep people on track. It's a great deal. Also, if you're a broker manager, consider our mega managing training program to really teach you how to build a marketing-driven real estate office. Most importantly, I appreciate your time and feedback. So do me a favor. In the box underneath here, please type in your comments or send me an email. Again, I'm always available, greg.herder at hobsherder.com or go to my Facebook page, you know, facebook.com forward slash Greg Herder or Hobbs Herder and leave us your comments. If you've got a question right now, 
please feel free to type them into the box. It looks like we have run out of our time here this morning, but I want you to know if you type in your box, I will get those as an email, and I will email an answer to every single one of you. Whether you're watching this live or whether you're watching this as a replay later on, I will answer your questions most importantly. Just remember you've got to take small daily steps. One step at a time will make such a huge difference for you. So keep moving forward. Keep making those daily steps of progress so that you are achieving your goals in the year ahead. Again, thank you very much for investing your time with me here today. I greatly appreciate that. Make today a great day and the year ahead an absolutely fabulous year. Thank you and God bless.